Remember Tamiflu and Relenza in the all-knowing wisdom of our world governments to buy and stockpile much of this well, I should say, known medication with really, well, I'd say, hyped benefit? Well, now that all that propaganda is over and we actually look at the true data on Tamiflu and Relenza, we can actually get a good picture. Well, out of 20 studies for Tamiflu and 26 studies for Relenza, at about 24,000 people, they discovered in the best case scenario, and I remember this study because it was done by phone calls, it may reduce your illness down from seven days to 6.3 days in adults. In children, there was no clear definable benefit, which even then, you're looking about, in the words, may reduce your illness down by half a day, provided you don't die of side effects of the medication prior to them. So, what I'm saying is the medication really sucks bad. There's a reason Roche Pharmaceuticals decided not to release any of its studies to the public and still is hiding most of the studies on this medication today, i.e. the EU and the International Office of Medicine, which have been dying to get a hold of any studies that show this medication actually works. So, what happens is you'll still see it on TV if you're sick and you're some dumb giant guy in a small house with a thermometer in his mouth walking down to the office because he believes Tamiflu is going to help reduce his illness. Well, maybe so if by maybe a half a day if he's sick for seven days. In any case, you get to experience the nausea, the possible organ failure, the hallucinations, and all the other known wonderful side effects of the medication itself. So, knowing that Tamiflu and Relenza is as ineffective as this, what you have a right to know now you can make a decision whether you think you want to risk your life on basically what I would call a rabbit's foot type treatment. Again, that's it. Look for the information. I'll footnote it here. You make your own decision. Thank you.